Hey you, welcome back to the final part. That one bloody last. Um, first things first, I'm going to say hello to my biggest fan, my stepson Ellis, and two of his friends. We've got Dewey and Mako, who of course is, as we know, the third Warner Brother. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? No? Right. Uh, in the meantime, sit back, relax, grab your beverages and we'll do the finale. Something there somewhere. Just here. Just there, like that. Uh, it's this silly little bumper thing that fell off. Now I could zoom in. I could try and glue that back on. But that's not gonna work. You know, tried repairing it with glue a couple of times. So what I'm thinking is rather than try and glue that on, which is gonna be fiddly as hell, I'm actually going to use a little paper clip to try and repair it, which would look a little bit more in scale as well by the look of it. And it is slightly thinner in diameter. <coughs> but we'll give it a go. We'll see what's what. So, got one of these long nosy, roundy, typey, pliery type things. I'm just going to straighten that out a little bit and get a nice big flat edge. And it doesn't matter if there's a little bit too much kinkage. Yeah, let's get back out again. Kinkage. Now, I'm going to move you because I know for a fact I'm going to slip at some point and hit you, which I don't want to do. Because that would mean breakage. So I'm going to take that nice white part there. It's possibly too wide. Yep. It's too wide already, isn't it? Yeah. That. Complete Charlie. I did that completely wrong. See, I'm rushing again. This is what happens when you rush. So, just taking a humble paper clip and figure out roughly where I need to be. Anything. So, it's right there. Right at the front edge. Oh, the needle nose pliers. So it's roughly there. It's going to form that first band. Like so. And I'm deliberately leaving these long so I can trim them back. That's an awful lot of glare. That's like 70s TV, that glare. And again, we'll just give that a quick hoik. Thing there, and then get a rough guesstimate where we need to be. So, if I do that about there, like so, hopefully, I'm gonna have enough thumb strength. Not, I'm not, so we'll get it started, like so, and hopefully, we've got enough thumb strength to get it bent round. Oh, like so. And again, we'll give it another tweak with the tweezers. Tweezers? Put them, yeah. Long day at work again. Just to get it there-ish. Like so. Focus on me, dear. Focus on me, dear. There we go. That's roughly, I think, is it? Possibly not. That's a bit too big. Hmm. That's fine. That's okay. So what we can do is come back, straighten it out, come back a little bit. There we go. Try that. So it's a little bit of fine tweaking and finagling and going on with the little self. But eventually you will get there. And there probably is easy ways of doing this. But yeah, it wouldn't be a Helgan 3-5 battle without you get something completely messed up and have everybody jumping on me in the comments saying, Ah, oh, you've done that wrong here, Charlie. 
Right, so that'll do there. And then trimmage. Which is why we left this long to start with. So if I go roughly there. Guess the I can always trim this down a little bit more afterwards. So get that trim there. Yeah, I know. There's easy ways of doing this, there's gotta be. Like I say, it wouldn't be one of my builds if it wasn't doing things the hard way. I'll be very, very careful at this point because that will be quite sharp. So, it's not the best remake in the world. Obviously, you're going to take your time and do that properly. Yeah, for me, it's getting quite late and it's nearly bedtime and it's been a long day and I just want to go to bed. That's close. That's pretty close. And to be honest, I'm actually preferring this kind of look. You know, it's had a bit of stick. It's been in a few scraps, a few scrapes. Battered and bruised, and nobody loves me. Everybody hates me. I'm gonna go in the garden and eat worms, type thing. So the area that that thing fell off from, just shaved it a little bit smoother, so we can get a start on it. And then using a pin type thing, it's gonna make a little. Dent. Now be careful when you're holding it because chances are you're going to knock something else off. Let's get that started. Just there, like so. So there's one. We shouldn't need to go too far with this. There we go. I'm actually going to twist by hand rather than use the, the action itself because I don't want to go too far too quickly. I want to stay in control of this. <laughs> this is the general idea of it anyway. And then using a really thin bit like that. We've got a good pile at start. Possibly that was too thin anyway for a hole. We'll see if I find out. I don't know. Ooh, that was close. One side went in, the other one didn't. If there's a sudden cutaway right now. It's because I've done something wrong and it's broke. And I'm sat there crying and going on with myself and behaving like a little eight year old. Let's give that a little help. You know, my toes are curling too. I can hear Fox cringing. There we go. We're in. So a few little tweaks here and there. And we've actually got a realistic looking battle damaged hoop rather than this great big chunky thing they've given us. For me, that does look a little bit more realistic. It's like proper damage. And now it looks like he's wearing a diaper. Lovely. So, just off camera, and... While you were away, I'm hoping I can take this all apart again without actually damaging anything further. Ah, there we go. So it's a little bit wonky and wobbly still. So I've just primed that. Uh, paper clip off camera. As you can see it's a little bit darker than everything else around it. Oh dear. I'm going to end up breaking some, something and I get in there. Oh, I'm going to try again get my teeth in. There we go. That's better. That's why we can't. Uh, 
I resign. I resign. I really do. It's been a long day. It's incredibly warm. It's actually summer and there's sun and blue skies and it's freaking me out because I'm Mancunian and I'm not used to blue skies. But I'll keep saying I'm Welsh and I'm Mancunian actually. A bit of Welsh thrown in there. <coughs> but if my lighting will let us see properly. This side is actually darker than the other side, so that's more like the original base coat we had. And that top side's not playing properly again. I don't want to play them out too much in case I break something else. Cool, cooperate. Why aren't you cooperating? Will you cooperate? So, I'm actually going to leave it like that. Just so we can see there is extra damage. And to be honest, as rough and yeah, as rough as bare arse as that is, I actually like it. It's quirky. It's a bit like Bob from um, Ooh, Disney's The Black Hole. It's bent and wonky and broken. I like that. I do like that. Obviously, you take your time and make yours look a little bit more professional if that's what you choose. Me? No. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it wonky. So, I'm just going to, very, very quickly, add. Mm. Well, let's go for blue. Sky blue. Short postal. Just because, why not? It's the same thing as you've seen me do before. Zoom out, Tony. Show the people. Just taking some scrapings off it. I'm going to take my little brush and mix it with the water. I've already got with the the palette, which is actually a piece of cardboard that I keep in the box. Is there anything on there? Hello. And then I'm just going to very, very quickly and very lightly. Huff. Get that quick dusting of blue. Which looks like it's done absolutely nothing whatsoever. But we know we've done it. Right, so, uh, I've got some matte varnishing to do on Bobby Fat, so I'll do that all in one go. Okie dokie, so, let's get this compressor on. Hopefully you can still hear me. Now, this base, <coughs> let's get my, uh, my camera set up over here out of the way a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me, slip of coffee. This base, there's all kinds of debate going on and has been going on for quite a while about these bases and what colour they should be because of Death Star and which version of the films you're watching and things like this. Uh, for me personally, yeah, as you know, I don't do screen accurate, I don't believe in it and all that nonsense. So, I'm actually going to just go with my good instinct and I'm going to say where's it gone? I had it a second ago yeah, it's right there in front of me, it's okay I'm going to go with this pale blue grey for Envaleo model there just to see what that's like because I want something completely different from what I've been using so far so I'm going to see what it looks like and then some of these greeby details on here we'll pick out with brush paints as well so let me adjust my monitor so I can see what I'm doing there you go. So some of these greedy details we'll pick out as well, like we've been doing so far, all the way through this build, the ATST build, and things like that. So just daft things like you know, we'll throw a darker colour here, a lighter colour in there, something like that. So now the compressor's built up. I can connect my hose. I can connect my hose, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can blend. Is it clean? Go with this one. Get all the stuff out. I'm going to see if I can achieve a blend on this piece. So we go from. Uh, it's not an ATST at all, is it? It's Death Star colour, here ish. Blend into black, so we've got space. And then blend into something akin to. Not an akin, akin. Alike to. Um, the wiring itself. We shall see. We shall see. 
possible I might just paint the, the entire thing grey. There's a part of me that still wants to do pink. There's a part of me that always wants to do pink. Right, let's give it another shake. You know, I'm feeling this is going to be very, very light anyway. It does look it. Oops, hiss. That was hiss. Why you hiss? Don't like hiss. You're not supposed to hiss. Quick spray now. Put this one side here, make sure it's flowing. So, again, the usual thing of build up light coats and get rid of the polystyrene. Get rid of the polystyrene. Get rid of the polystyrene. Go away. Don't go away. Hinge. Gonna build up some light coats. First of all. I genuinely can't remember if I mentioned the black undercoat because of that's how I landed it originally. So we can use it as a kind of pre shade. So it seems a really light coat. First of all, get some images. These back edges. So we've got that nicely mottled effect straight away. <coughs> and we can do a good top coat across the top. Push down a little bit to pick out a few edges here and there. So you can probably hear the pressure drop then because I'm coming halfway down on the trigger. There's barely any trigger pressure there. And I'll come in just a tiny little bit back to make sure there's no food is pushing that in. Quick glass of air. Shadows and the kind of I've seen all kinds of debate whether it's a bluey grey or whether it's just grey that's tinted over time with colours and things like that. But, you know, I'm just going to whack a wash over it, it'll be fine. So. So you can see in the shadows, hopefully, right down the bottom corners, there's still just that general light coat that we did originally, and we just picked out the top edges of the piece itself, so there's just like extreme highlights on these flat panels especially, so there's nothing hugely major, you know, we're not completely covered the paint, as you can see there, we've still got the primer showing through underneath and now that's exactly what I'm after. These pieces will be pressed up against other pieces anyway so it doesn't matter. You, know, you can just give everything a general coat to start with but we've got this false shadow here where I've not quite covered it with paint. That's still primer showing through so we've used the primer as a pre-shade just by easing off a little bit with the trigger and coming a little bit further back uh, with the airbrush. The same there we can see on this quadrant here What's the little primer showing through on this, this piece? So use your primer as a pre-shade if you do a completely black primer like that. That's originally how they would have done things as well. So I'll just plunk that there and then let's see if we can get this blend. Okay, we've got a blockage, there we go. So because I've left it a while, whilst I've been yapping, the paint's actually drying on the end of my needle. So I'm just going to give that a quick wipe. Just 
all this stuff. Right. I'm using my old Iowata that hasn't really got the trigger control because I've been naughty and I've not cleaned my, uh, my Neo out. So I'm just compressed really gently down. So I'm getting roughly half the air. And then come back and tank a little bit for the... Not petrol at all, is it? Thanks for being naughty. Alright, fine, come on, come on, blast them. So we've got that really sort of blend going on. And what I'm hoping is from certain angles, that will just look like part of the desk line. Right, so. So we'll see how that looks at the moment. So we'll leave that off to dry to one side. Okay, so just off to the side we've got the, another mix of Starship Filth down here. I've lost a little um, mixing pot I had. Let's give that a quick test. Yeah, beautiful. Let's try it again. So it follows the, the groove on the glove. Perfect. So it's exactly the same as you've seen me do before with that little pot that I have that I can't quite find at the moment. So that's why I'm using this thing. And then we're just going to load the brush up a little bit. And let's come over here. With my lighting on as well. And now I'm getting the shadows off my, uh, off my camera. I love that. And then the same thing that we've done before. is literally just touch into a corner. Let the, the juices flow as it were. It's pick up all that lovely detail. Now, I did say in a previous clip I was going to start detail painting some of the, the Greeblies. Yeah, didn't happen. Well, there's absolutely nothing stopping you doing that, if you so wish. I just haven't had time. That's why I've not done it. I think at some point I might come back and redress that balance. Ooh, look at me talking all proper. And posh and what have you. And basically, we just whip around, twitching in and dragging around and filling in the big bits. It's all swanky and proper and posh and what have you. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Do this over a gloss varnish. Um, the gloss varnish will protect the paint underneath and will help uh, your mixture to flow everywhere it needs to flow in all these crooks and nannies. If you do this over a matte, um, the matte varnish, it'll just stick and puddle. It'll just stay there and it won't go where it's supposed to go. If that makes sense. That didn't make sense at all, did it? That's quite a tiny bit. There we go. This is one of my favourite parts, this. You just lose yourself in what you're doing. Completely take your brain out. It's great.
I should do us. I know, I'm quiet, that's why uh, you've probably just seen a time lapse again. I went quiet, you didn't miss much. It's just literally me touching a brush to little places and watching everything zip away. Well, that's basically it. So we'll let that dry now for about an hour and then we'll come back with a little Q-tip and sort the stuff out. Um, in the meantime, I have my sister-in-law Subaru to sort out. So I'm going to do that, wait for this to go off and then I can start doing bits and bobs with something else. Be back in a minute. Right, so 20 minutes, half hour, an hour, whatever it was, it's having the last clip. Ended up being overnight. Uh, it's now 24 hours later. And I'm hoping. Ah, there we go. Right, zoom you in. I don't know what that was. It's not my fault. As you can see, the oil wash comes away beautifully. Beautifully. Dry Q-tip, cotton bud, swabby thing, whatever it is. Otherwise, everything we've just done will take it away completely if we use one that's been soaked in some kind of spirity type, thinner type spirit. Shut up, I know what I mean. Stop you giggling. I can hear you, Langy. Fox, an ant, stomping, Adam, Bill, Lynn. You there with the, the, the thing? I can hear you all giggling. You are the voices in my head. Quite disturbing. What was in that coffee? Good grief. <coughs> oh, stop your noise. What was that? Anyway, with your little self in the corner, making me jump. Good grief! I know. I'll clean that up. Right, I'm happy with that. It's very basic, I know, but I'm pushed for time again at the moment. But obviously, uh, some of these greebly things, as you've seen in the earlier videos, where we were doing the greebly details on the Y-Wing itself, you could pick out those beautifully, if you so wanted to, but I'm actually happy with that as it is. So, what I'm going to do now is going to take the standy thing, get off, see if that blended in. Oh, it kind of does. It kind of blends in. I'm going to, oh, I do like that. Right. Push that all the way home. And I'm going to matte varnish everything now on this just to tone all that shine down and make it all look beautiful. Right then, right then, right then, right then, right then, we'll bring in that base which is dried beautifully as you can see. It's a lovely matte finish. And I like the way that stands blended in together. The thing and the stuff and the what's it and the here we go, there we go, right done. Yeah, I've been working on that. That's your, uh, yeah, that's the new thing from now on. Every time I finish one, it's getting one of those. <coughs> Excuse me, right then. As always, thank you all so very, very, very much for your patience, your time, your understanding and sticking here and supporting me and being here through thick and thin and oh that kind of flowery nonsense I'm just standing like that, there we go, that's better uh, I know I did say I was going to do a diorama but at the moment with the time and things like that and work still being a pain in the bum, even though work's sorting itself out slowly and I'm finding a little bit more time now so we can you know, carry on with this kind of stuff 
Uh, it's still being paid at the backside. I've still up to my eyeballs at work. Uh, we're not doing double shifts anymore, but we are working extended days. So yeah, we've still got that kind of situation going on for the next couple of months anyway. So uh, I think I've mentioned it somewhere else in the video. I can't remember. I probably did, or I might have thought I haven't. Anyway, uh, ooh, sirens. Marvelous. Um, what we'll do now is we'll release the the Rossi build just to buy me a bit of time so I can crack on with the editing of. Could not come here. That fella. Yeah, I know. Ooh! Charming. My heart's doing that in my chest now. Uh, so, yeah, he's done. We've got to do the, the editing yet, which I can't quite do again because of how work's working out. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, but, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Hopefully, we'll get enough, an episode or two up in the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, thank you all so so much like i say for your patience your support and all that kind of stuff and coming back time after 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 time, after time, after time and messages and stuff like that it's kept me going um you're the light at the end of the tunnel that's you know the simplest way i could put it so uh, we'll do a get well soon for my mate dave david dave david um he's on the mend slowly you know you are stevie get in touch it's been a while, lad. I'm getting worried about you. You've not been in touch for a while. Get in touch, Steve. And, or at least answer your bloody messages. You know, I've sent you enough. Come on. Finger out, lad. Um, who else was this? Lynn. Lynn's got that brace off, finally. Yeah. Watch out, lads. She's on the loose. Uh, Ellis, Dewey, Mako, we've done. Yay. What's up, boys? Uh, Alistair and Kieran. I'm looking at the little list off the side. Hello. Your dad's on know who you are. And they can give you a nudge and say, Hey, he's mentioned you. Uh, and always, as always, Stomping, Terry, uh, Bill, Fox. <laughs> um, who else have we got? We've got another David. We've got Paul. We've got, oh, you know who you all are. Carl. And oh, There's too many of you now. There's far too many of you. Leon, if you're not still talking about somewhere, give me a shout, lad. Again, not heard from you for a while. Uh, you know he's one of the first ones to say, Ah, another video, great, I love Stop it, I'll get in touch, lad. It's been far too long. Um, you know who you all are. Thank you. I love you. And I shall see you very, very soon. Take care. Coming soon. To a tabletop near you. Or a YouTube channel. Or whatever you watch this nonsense on. Hello, little old lady. <laughs>